not. So I just glued this down flat right across the center of our card. And now I am going to just glue this, whisp, not whisper white, but basic white right onto our layering scallop here, just like that. So hopefully the others will find me too. I feel so bad. And then we're going to pop this up. So we're going to use some dimensionals. Just like so. And we're going to pop that up. Oh, darn. You know what I forgot? With all that hassle with my losing connection, we have to heat emboss these little sprinkles, which I thought kind of look like fireworks. So I don't know if you guys will think that they do or not, but I thought they did. So I've got my sprinkles. I've got my embossing buddy, which you can find at a big box store. We don't carry it anymore. It's stamping up. Um, I wish they would bring it back though, but anyway, so then I've got my Versamark and I'm going to ink up my, this is not the sprinkles I used. I used the sprinkles, not the dots. So we're going to use the sprinkles and I'm going to do it this way. So hopefully you can see that where the curvature is up here and then the wider flatter is at the bottom. So I'm going to stamp that right in each corner using my Versamark. Hopefully I won't mess up stamping because we've already adhered everything to this card. But if we do, we do. Okay, so now I need to bring in my white embossing powder. Here we go. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> hey, Chris, glad you found me. Okay, I am going to just put this on here white embossing powder and it's going to get stuck in all the cracks because I forgot but it, it will work it will be all right <laughs> I'm going to make it work <laughs> I'm going to close this up and we are going to how's the weather in North Carolina Kathy <laughs> My heat gun. We need our heat tool. So I'm going to turn this on so it's going to get a little loud. Hopefully. Yay, Carol, you found me. <laughs> yeah, that was all my fault. Forgot to plug in my, um, my charger to the phone. So we lost connection. And then Facebook would not load on my phone for whatever reason. I finally got it, though. I didn't give up. I am just going to beat this up. So how you know when this is done is when it turns all nice and white and shiny and there's no dull on it. Then you know that it's done. All right, so there's our little sprinkles that I hope will look like fireworks to you guys, but I thought they did. 79 and cloudy. Oh, nice temperature. We're cloudy and sunshine popping through once in a while. I don't know what our temperature is. It's not real, real hot. It's very breezy, so it feels very good. Okay, so I'm going to stick this right in the middle of that, just like so. Then we're going to take our popsicle that we cut out, and we're going to put some dimensionals on it as well. Hey, Nikki. And we're 
we're going to put that kind of catty corner, just like so. All right, so there is that card. This was our original, and this was the one we just did. So now the next one is the one that I don't have a sample to show you, but I have it in my head, and I have most of the stuff pre-cut. We're going to use the ice cream part, this right here, for it. So this is for my scraps, or not my scraps, this is my scrap for my stamping. Then I die cut out, um, which I forgot to cut this, a using my Stitch So Sweetly dies. This is the largest frame, and I wanted to layer this white inside it. And that's what we're gonna do our, put our, where we're gonna put our ice cream. Our ice cream cone, actually. And we're gonna do our ice cream cone in the red, white, and blue as well. And I think it's gonna be super cute. Hopefully, hopefully this will fit right in there. So all I did was just trim a little tiny off from where the stitched is. I think I need to trim just a teeny bit more from this off of this. So we'll just trim just a little bit because I want my stitching to show because I think that that's really cute. So we'll trim just a little bit more. And let's see here. Just like that I think will be just fine might have cut this crooked, might have slid on me. Don't you hate that when that happens? Because I most certainly do. All right. I think we're going to go with it, but I might trim. I think I did. No? Maybe it did not. It just looks like it did. I'm going to trim just a teeny tiny more off again. We'll get this. We'll get it. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna like that a whole lot better. Yes, perfect. Okay, so that's gonna layer in there. Get the script out of the way. And I'm done with this Baker's Twine, so we'll get that out of the way. Well, let's put this lid on this so this doesn't get gummed up on me. And we're done with this piece. We're done with this piece. So now we need our ice cream cone in our little decorative piece here that puts the, the marks in the cone. We'll put that right, actually I'll put that on here because we don't need that piece anymore either. So we're done with that. So we got that and that. We're done with your So Cool. And we're done with the popsicles. So, now we need to bring in our ice cream cone, our ice cream scoop. All right, and we are gonna use, I'm gonna bring in some Smoky Slate for this too. So I have Smoky Slate, Real Red, and Pacific Point. And, and some Smoky Slate, which I think I said already. All right, so I want to move this out of the way, move these out of the way. And we're going to do our stamping, and then I'll tell you the measurements of the cards, and we'll put it together. Okay, so first I'm going to stamp off, stamp in Pacific Point. I'm not stamping off. I am just going to stamp straight down, just like so. I should be using my, um, my, my foam mat for the photo photopolymer, but I didn't. And... Silly me, I didn't bring over my my chamois to wipe off my my um, ice cream scoop. So, I don't even see where I put it. It should still be over here. So I'll just use this towel, try to wipe it off the best I can. All right, and then we're gonna stick it in real red. And I just stuck my fingers right in there. Huh? All right, so 
hopefully that's going to stamp okay. And then this one, I really need it to be really clean because this is for the white. So I'm going to use the smoky slate. But I'm going to stamp off a couple of times, probably at least once, because I just want it to be really light. But just so that the white will have a little bit of texture to it and not just be a piece of white cardstock. So this is going to take me a little bit to get this red off of here, but I think we're good. Okay, so I'm going to ink up in the smoky slate. Let me see how many times I want to stamp off. Yeah, so I want to stamp off twice. So I'm going to stamp off and stamp off, and then we're going to stamp just like so. Ooh, I got some blue on there. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so we can hide it because the white will be in the middle. So we are going to do some punching after we stamp our Cone. So we're going to do crumb cake for our cone, just like that, and then we're going to mark, mark, we're going to stamp our little design right in there, and now we're done. Okay, so, and I'm sure that I didn't stamp these in the right places. <laughs> we're going to punch this out. I can see what I'm doing right like that I'm gonna have to trim it because I did it but it it will work all right so just like so except for I'm throwing cardstock around okay then we're gonna punch out our red I know I don't have that line straight <laughs> I should have stamped from the, um, punched from the other side and I did it. So I need a piece of posting note because I know this is going to be way too small for me to stick in there. So we'll just do just like that. Give me a little handle. That will work. Okay. So if that ever happens to you and you don't give yourself enough room, just use a posty, post-it note and you can make yourself a handle. Okay, so now we're going to punch this one out. Okay, then we need to punch our ice cream cone out. Punch, there we go. All right, so let's get rid of all the stuff that we don't need. Get it out of the way. Okay. Take this piece right off of there because we do not need that. Of course, it probably doesn't wouldn't hurt if we left it on there either, right? Somebody's gonna see it. I can't get it off, so we might. There we go. All right. All right. So there is that. That and that. So can you see that gave a little bit of a texture on there so that you can see it better? Looks a little grayish, but I think it will be fine. All right, we are gonna assemble our card. So we have a piece of real red cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're gonna go ahead and fold that. Use my bone folder to give it a nice crease. Then we have our layering pieces, which is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And again, you can find all of these measurements over on my blog later on. Probably give me a day or two to get it up there though. And we will just put some glue on that. And we are going to layer this right on here. It could come over way more, but we'll see if I can do it. <laughs> All right, and then this piece is going to layer, but this is five and five eighths by five, four and seven eighths. That's going to go right on top like this. But before I do that, I wanted to do a little more of the striping. 
So I'm going to take this, and I don't really know how this is going to look because I'm trying to get this to be um, curving in different spots, but it's not wanting to do it for me. So we are just going to do just like that. And I'm okay if it's not straight, if they're not even. It's just to add a little bit of something something there we go we're just not having a piece of white just plain old white in the background and then that's going to go right on there and we're going to put some glue on there <laughs> thank you kathy thanks lynette i love the colors too am i missing any comments if i missed your comments you guys you know that i will um, I go back through and answer comments within a day or two. Okay, this piece we're just going to leave white. So we're going to put that on top of our Pacific Point. Just like so. So now these cards are going to make us want to go out and buy some patriotic ice cream. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to pop this up. I wonder if I should put some twine on this one too. I don't know. We'll see. Just to make it look a little fancier. But sometimes you can put a little too much on something, which that just might be. But we're going with it. It might be just a little too busy. It'll be all right. All right, so sometimes what you have in your head doesn't quite work out as well as you thought it would. <laughs> Come on. All right, and now we're going to assemble our cones. So we're going to do red, white, and blue. And I'm okay if it has a little blue on there because, you know, it kind of melted onto the white ice cream, right? So we're going to do just like that. And then our little cone is going to go there. And we're going to pop it up. All right, so I'm going to glue. We could pop up each individual ice cream. I'm not going to today. Just like that. And then we'll put some more glue right here. Come on. And then we're going to put that just like that. We could even make the, uh, the um, ice cream crooked and all that kind of stuff. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with this. But I'm just going to do pretty simple and basic. And then I'm going to put some little bit of glue right on there just like that. And put our ice cream just like that. Kind of straighten it up a little bit. And then we're going to pop that up using some dimensionals. And then I think I will tie a, um, a piece of baker's twine on there just to give it a little something something. Okay, so there we go. So. And if you don't like the gray in your ice cream, you can always just punch out a basic white. But I just thought the gray gives it a little something something so that you can tell that there's actually a scoop of ice cream and with shadows, you know, because it doesn't always scoop out the smoothest. That was my thought anyway. <laughs> okay, so we can do the white, which I think will disappear, or we can take our stamp and blend and we can color a piece of white baker's twine and you guys the last i looked this bundle is back in stock so it is orderable and you can get it or wait no this one isn't the sweet strawberry is this let me look real quick this one is not it is orderable but it's not in stock i don't think I'm going to check real fast for you. Mm 
if it'll load. Okay, let me run through here. Back order. Ah, I believe it might be. Yay, I think it is, you guys. So this is, it's not on back order. So if you order it, there's no delays, except for shipping. Yep, I don't see it on there. So yay. So, and the sweet strawberry is back now. It is orderable. So if you've been waiting for the sweet strawberry bundle to come through, make sure you place your order before it goes on back order again, because these two bundles have were so popular from the June, I'm sorry, January, June mini catalog. They were so popular. The sweet strawberry you couldn't hardly get through the whole, since January. So let me X out of that and get back in here. Okay, so now this is alcohol, so it, the marker, so it will dry fast. So hopefully it's dry enough for me to put it on the card without it smearing some ink on here. But if I do, I do. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. <laughs> it's just not worth it. It's really just about having some fun. And who doesn't want to have fun stamping and making beautiful cards to send to somebody to put a smile on their face? As my saying goes, sending smiles and hugs one card at a time. So that's really what it's all about and having some fun doing it. Okay, so I think this is pretty good. So I'm gonna cut these tails, except for I need to color this one a little more. I didn't quite get that. You know what would have been really cool is if I'd have had the, which I'm not even sure if we carry Pacific Point marker and I don't think we do. I think we have Knight and Navy. Um, and I could have made this red, white, and blue ribbon. That would have been really cool, huh? <laughs> okay, so I am going to just roll. Come on, off my finger. I got glue on my fingers. I'm going to roll this up. Come on, roll for me. I'm going to stick that right there. And then I am going to stick our bow right there. So now the only thing that we are missing is a sentiment. So we could do happy birthday. We could do you're so cool. We could do hope it's sweet with sprinkles on top. Oh, that's what we should have done. We should have stamped some sprinkles on top. And we could have put that on there. But you know what? We still can. So, with sprinkles on top and in the inside, we can stamp happy birthday. Do I want to put that on there? I think I do. But I don't want it to be covered. Okay. Maybe I'll do a shorter one just for right now. Hope it's sweet. No, let's go ahead. I'm so indecisive. Okay. But that's my prerogative because I'm woman. <laughs> I think I'm going to use real red for the sentiment. So we're going to bring in a piece of, um, not that one, got something on it, basic white, but I want it thin like that. So I am going to just trim this piece down. You know what? I'm going to stamp it first and then I'll bring in my little trimmer. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, you see. Oh, you're very welcome, Kathy. You're very welcome for the tip. Okay, and then I am going to stamp that. I think I might give room to flag both ends. I didn't stamp that straight, but I'm going with it. <laughs> and I think I am going to just try to straighten this up a little bit, like so. And then I'm going to bring in my 
my little trimmer here so you guys close your eyes because I know this makes you guys extremely nervous when I do this without the guard. And those of you who, I just smeared that too. Darn, darn, darn. Those of you who know me know I'm dangerous. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to go with it just for time's sakes and I'll just, I won't um, put it down. Oh, did I? I did that crooked anyway. So we definitely will end up doing this over later. But for time purposes, I'm going with it because you guys, I think, kind of get the idea. Okay, so I'm going to flag this on both ends. I wish I didn't smear that, but I did. All right, and then we're going to stick that right across here, just like so. I know it's going to, maybe we'll go up here some. No, we're down here. Where do you guys think I should put that? I'm a little bit tossed here. I could put it right across the top. I don't want to cover our white. And it is a little long to put off to the side because then it's going to hang off our card. Um, I could. I don't want to cover. I think I'll just do it down here. That's what I'll do. I will trim up our tails just a little bit. And then we're just going to stick that. We can pop this up. Actually, I'm just going to use a glue dot because this is going to be on there temporary so that I can fix it later. <laughs> I am going to stick this right like so. And then we're going to stick it right here, just like that. Now, if I was putting this on permanently, I would stick two um, dimensionals, one on each side so that it would help support it better. So, but I think that that turned out really cute. And then if you wanted to, you could put some bling bling on there too. Um, we could, do I have, I might have used all of, oh, I have some left. So we'll use these. We're going to use the blue, I think. So we can put a blue and we can put a blue. And we can put a blue. So just like so. You can put your bling wherever you want to. I'm terrible. I know it's supposed to be um, a triangle, kind of, sort of. It's what some people like to do. But it's kind of a triangle, right? <laughs> okay, I think that this is a sweet card. So let me bring in the other two back in so we can see them again. So this, let me move this stuff out of the way. So this is the one we just did on the fly. Then this one was our first one. This was the original. And I thought that the background needed to pop more. So I brought in the cherry cobbler and stamped it. I have a big space there too. Wow. And then we did that. And then this was our second one. So this was the original. This um, was the one that we did. This one I stamped off. This one I didn't. We did fussy cut our popsicle out. We used the um, this red Stampin' Blend to color our lines on there. And then this one is this one. So what do you guys think? I hope that you really liked it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm so sorry for the interruption and losing connection. That was totally my fault. Um, just forgot to plug my phone in. So I will have the measurements on my blog, like I said, just give me a day or two to get it up and loaded and posted. Um, and please share my video so that other people can see the fun of stamping and making beautiful cards to send to people to put a smile and send a hug in the mail. And I really appreciate you guys sharing your lunchtime with me today. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the week. And I probably am not going to be live Friday night. I think, I think it'll just, I'm going to start doing it from now on through the summer, just once a week so that I can start working on my blog, um, not my blog, but my YouTube channel a little bit more too. Thank you, Kathy. 
Thank you, Carol, for sharing. Thank you guys so much. Um, okay, so I'm not going to tie you up anymore. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hope that you do by clicking that red button down below that says subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell icon so that you get notified of all my future posts as soon as I post them so that you don't miss a thing. And give me a thumbs up too. That really does help me out. And it's an encouragement when I see stuff like that. And I love to hear you, hear from you guys. So make sure that you comment. And that's it. Thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Wonderful rest of the week. Okay. Do we do?